What is up, my fellow Cheebits? Hopefully all of you are having a very, very good day today. So before I begin, got a couple of things I want to talk about. Number one, if I sound congested, if I look sick, well, I'm kind of sick. Now, I'm a little bit better than the first day was when I got sick around like Thursday night into Friday, but I'm still a little bit sick, so if I sound congested, I look a little bit under the weather, that is the reason, so sorry about that if I do. And also, you know, whew, apparently, apparently I have the flu, so... Yeah, it sucks. Anyways, though, the newest chapter is out, chapter 151 of Tokyo Ghoul Re, and I'm excited because you know how it is. Mondays are probably the best days because I love Tokyo Ghoul, and I think many of you can agree with me that it's it's definitely something many of us look forward to every single week. And so, yeah, but anyways, one last thing to say before I carry on with the video. Hopefully all of you are, uh, you know, staying healthy and all that, and hopefully none of you are sick like me. I really do because... It sucks being sick, it really does. I mean, you don't realize how much you take for granted your good health until you get sick and you're like, ugh, and you just want to lay in bed and all that, but yeah. Anyways, let's begin, okay? I, I think I've stalled long enough. So, chapter 151. Okay, in order to take back Tokyo, the CCG has joined hands with ghouls. What is their plan? Okay, 32 million copies in print worldwide. Thank you so much. Volume 13 of the series is available now. Man, 32 million copies. I'm still glad that Tokyo Ghoul is selling like hotcakes. I, I, you know, grats to Ishida. You know, I, I'm going to take a few moments just to say congratulations to... Uh, whoa, I, whoa, I just had like a mini stroke there. Congratulations, Ishida. And, you know, I'm glad that, you know, you've sold 32 million copies. So, yeah, I, I'm very happy about that. Anyways, though, let's carry on. Okay, so Special Joint Countermeasures HQ. NR Bozi where where what? What what what? NR Bo did I have a stroke? Okay, <laughs> NR Bozi Werdos. Um Okay, I Yeah, I will go next chat I'm in page in a second. Okay, get out. Okay, so the chapter is called Get Out. Hmm. Okay, next page. We got cover page from MS. Okay, next page. Load for me, please. Okay. Oh, it's the three gangster lollies. Oh, okay, that explain that explains the speech bubble. Okay, Sina Beagle Wad Wainar Alo Van Doy Inas Wende Er Gumpo Resum Ini Pundor Poga Daza Beagle In Pun Du Dima Wulum Uh in onto Wellas Benduale Stim Dim Steamed him, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Marnay's face like steam. The man's last word just steamed him. That's the only thing you get. Look at Susie's face like. He's like, I don't even know. <laughs> that's great. That's great. Okay, uh, Bigo Wanda Roll. How to. Wait, is that Toka saying that? What, wait, what, okay, well, let, let me translate this. Bigo Wanda Roll. How to Huda ju, uh, Jumbam. How to Huda. Angarnir, I see. When the Nagaracha, uh, I, I'm just gonna call it Naga. When the Naga underground started destroying everything, in order to stop it, their king, they all attacked it all at once. It didn't look like they were making much of a dent, but whenever they took out one of the king's eyeballs, his attacks dulled, uh, dulled somewhat. They finished destroying all of its eyeballs, and some amount of time later, the king finally stopped his movements and apparently turned to stone. How did you even understand a word? <laughs> okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Let, let me see if I can translate this. Okay, I'll, I'll just give me a second. I want to see if I can translate what they're saying. Okay, so they were saying talking about the stone. Okay, ina bozu wodos. Okay, I say bo bozi or bo uh, bozos or whatever is body. I I'm assuming. I I'm assuming that's body. Okay, so in our wait. In our body, Wordos. 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 I, I don't know what in our bo Okay, let me go to the next page. Let, let me see if I can... I, I'm sorry, I, I'm just very interested to see if I can translate this, because Toka was able to understand it. Okay, so, Singa Bigo Wad Wina Alo Van Doi In Us. So, they did In Us again. Wina Ere Gumpo. And then, hmm, Bigo again. Okay. Super big. 
Wada winner. Oh, okay. I'm assuming that means Cinna Beagle. Okay, very big Cognate. Okay, very big Cognate. That's what I'm assuming. Or tentacle thing. That that's what basically saying. Alovandoy in us in us when the I I don't know what that is. Uh resume it's so weird. It's so weird. And it's steamed. Oh, steamed is stone. Stoned him. Okay, steamed is not steamed him. It's stoned him. Okay, stoned him. It's interesting if you really look at this. This is probably actually dialogue. If you really take a moment to process it. Okay, so big ol' Wanda Ro. Okay, so bi big ol' is big. Wanda Ro is big... I'm assuming the big one, uh, Wandero is the Kagane. Hmm. I really like these characters. I really like those three little lolly girls. It's amazing. I love their dialogue. But Toko is able to understand that. Whoa. That's something else. Okay. So anyways, in order to stop it, they're keen. They all attacked at once. It didn't look... So wait a minute. So you're saying once they took out all the eyeballs of the original one I king, it turned to... St wait, so the one I king is dead? But I thought it was supposed to disintegrate. It's weird. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So it didn't look like they were making much of a difference. Whenever they took out one of the king's eyeballs, his attack doubled. So he stopped really attacking much when the eyeballs were taken out. And it does show that the eyeballs are closed there. Like it's stone. They finished destroying all the eyeballs at some amount of time later. The king finally stopped his movements and apparently turned to stone. So he stopped moving and turned to stone. So is he is he dead or is he just like petrified? That's weird. Okay, next page, please. Man, MS taking a while to load. Okay. Oh, we're shifting over to Kimi. Okay, eyeballs. That's it. As a cognate materializes in place that RC cells cluster, eyeball patterns are often observed. Oh, Hinami. Toka. Oh. Wait, am I getting some... I'm getting some interesting characterization or just development for... For ghouls. as a kind of material in place. So, that explains why eyeballs pop up? So, it would make sense. Eto had eyeballs on. So, her kakaho was massive with RC... So, RC cell clusters. Massive RC cell clusters is... That's where eyeballs were. In RC cell clusters, most densely near Kakoho. So, so it's Kakoho, the multiple Kakohos. We knew about that. We know there could be multiple Kakohos. So, holy crap. So, Hinami has quite a bit since she has eyeballs over her. Whoa. Okay. So, it's likely the Kakoho equipped main body is in the vicinity of one of these eyeball things, right? Indeed. Whoa. Okay, that's interesting. That's very, very interesting. That could explain the rapid gener regeneration of the, uh, the cognate and stuff for different parts of the body because of that. Whoa. Huh. That's really cool. Yeah, next page. The hell are you getting all bashful about? Wait, what? Wait, what did I miss a page? Wait, what the hell are you getting mad? Wait, let me scroll down. Oh, I, oh, I missed the bottom dial. My bad. Okay, so we've got to flip every eyelid, and it doesn't spare us much trouble. Yes, but this is still a massive development. And it was made possible by information brought from the 24th Ward. Thank you so much, Kurishima. Guess something came out of me digging halfway through the earth. Hmm. And then next page. So, hell you, so wait, wait. I just like, what the hell are you getting bashful? Huh, piss off. Getting a help thanked by a human. It feels weird. Squirm. <laughs> oh! Oh, that's that's adorable. That's adorable. Okay, we don't have much time until it resumes its activity, which means we are currently in need of a method to find Kin Kaneki near those eyeballs. So, okay, so they managed to figure out where they could find Kaneki then. It would be near the eyeballs. Huh. Well, that narrows it down a lot, actually. If we could only pinpoint the irregularity of his body amidst all of that. A way to search out a human from a sea of RC cells. Yeah, it's still hard because there's a lot of Kakuho or, you know, Kagane. So, well, a lot of Kakuhos and Kagane. So, it'd be still very hard to find him. A way to search out a human from a sea of RC cells, huh? We could use the technology that powers our sensor gates. No. 
No, no, they probably couldn't because all of it's cognate. It's stemming from his body, so no, most likely no, they couldn't. No, we haven't uh, have time to cobble together devices. We need to use what we already have. Infrared? Nope, not a bad idea. What about sonar? Sonar? Oh, to try to find deep underground where it extends from. Okay. There should be something about our C-cell wave tran transmitted. Wait, what? Experiments at Kako is not... Wait. Transception. Experiments in... Huh. So they're trying to narrow down how to find Kaneki. Howdy. Is that Nishiki? With coffee? Miss, you sure pr are pretty. Do I get any... Yo, Nishiki coming in! That's smooth. What's this? I get the feeling we met before. Yo, Nishiki coming in all nice and smooth with Kimi, his girl. Yo. Yo. That, that's pretty epic. Okay, I'll give you that. Nishiki, you good man right there. He coming in all nice and smooth because he can actually hang around his girlfriend now that I think about it because, you know, ghouls are not necessarily being hunted right now, so... Oh my goodness, that is, yo, that's cool, I love that. What's this, gonna feel like we met before? Are we gonna have a, oh, we're gonna have a Nishiki and Kimi part of the chapter, okay. I learned Ogiri Tree, Kano's people were holding you captive. I looked for you endlessly, oh, we're getting the, the okay, the backstory to what happened. I looked for you endlessly. We had these, those tree, tree guys on the run, but I never thought I'd find you again at the CCG of all places. Neither did I. Oh, that smile, she blushing. Nishiki, I am so happy to see you again, but hmm? I walked to Professor Kano's side on my own two legs. I figured as much. That that was common sense. We all, like, Nishiki obviously thought that, you know, Kimi just got abducted or something, but that was definitely not the case. It was obvious that Kimi joined Kano, not because she wanted to be with Kano, but because probably for Nishiki. It was common sense. It was legit common sense with how much Kimi loved Nishiki. She probably wanted to learn out more about how ghouls work for she could probably help him out. So it's common sense. I walked to Professor Kano's side on my own two legs. What? Kano was walking far from the human path, but there was simply no one like him in the world of ghoulology. That's precisely why I uh, chose to become his assistant. His intentions were entirely medical. So that is officially confirmed now. So his intentions, everything that he wanted was for medical technology. He was trying to engineer a situation in which the country would have no choice but to pursue ghoul research. After the revolution, I'll be branded a heinous criminal. I doubt I'll be able to do much research after all. So he broke down and talked to Kimi? Is that what I'm getting here? He talked to Kimi. I doubt I'll be able to do much research at all. Kid Kaneki was but a huge bomb to draw the world's eyes to the issue itself. How fatally boring. Huh. Huh. That's interesting. So it does confirm what he wanted in the end. And he knew. He knew his end was coming. He wouldn't be able to do much at all, so he basically was like, there's no point in me living, so that explains why, you know, he took his own life. Okay, his ends aside, I wanted the man's knowledge. For what? To make my dreams come true. Probably for Nishiki, obviously. To live without blame and censure as a human beside you. Oh, yo, yo, that's so adorable. Oh, that's so sweet. That's so sweet. They're all, they're holding hands. Oh, that's, that's adorable. That's adorable. That is super, 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 super adorable. Okay, for that, I needed to change to uh, prevailing human FOs, the attitude of ghoul extermination. That huge cockroach is made of a special substance known as pluripotent cells. Translation notes, stem cells. What have I been saying for a long time? That RC cells are basically the equivalent of stem cells. That's what I have been saying for a very long time. So they're wanting to use ghoul RC cells as stem cells, I'm assuming. That's what she was looking into. And research into RC cells spurred medical advancement, then maybe the attitude towards ghouls would... So she wants to turn the ghoul cells, basically the RC cells, into stem cells. That's been in her face the entire time, especially with the fetus-type shape RC cells. Red child cells? Huh. 
That's interesting. I, I give you that. I give you that issue. That's nice. I, I really like that. So it's officially confirmed that RC cells are, in fact, stem cells. So that does mean that you can form your own brain and stuff. Which, in turn, further brings about the part to where, you know, ghouls can, or humans and ghouls can be made through, you know, cognitive or C cells, which is what, you know, the original one I King did and what Kaneki could possibly do. Okay, Kimi, do you th really think that humans will look at that monstrous thing and think to draw closer to ghoul kind? He does have a good point. It is like a ghoul, Kakuja. How many humans has it killed? Looking at thing, I almost wish I must my myself wasn't a ghoul. Nishki, are you calling that thing a ghoul? What? If its main body really is Kaneki, then yes. Kaneki is a human, isn't he? Oh, that's that's true. So scientifically and all that, when you think of the facts, he is. He is human, it's not a ghoul, but a man became that. And new ghouls are helping solve the problems a man created. Oh, that's interesting. That's very, 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 very interesting way to look at that. Because Kaneki is a human, so that basically lets us know that it's not ghouls that can become this and cause this problem even humans can have this done to them and then it can bring an end to the world or something if it's not stopped so because of that it makes perfect sense so if a man can become this it's not just ghouls humanity can also become a ghoul which in turn could make it be man-made a man could force this upon someone and in turn destroy the world so it Kaneki is a human which in turn means that he's not a ghoul so it's not the ghoul's fault but on top of that a man made Kaneki like he is, so it's the uh, man's problem and who created it. So that that's very interesting. I, I like the way Kima looks at that, or Kimi looks at that. It's uh, it, it it definitely explains that the ghouls are not necessarily at fault, and that the ghouls actually they're helping out of the kindness of their heart to help out. So it makes them look really good. Okay, that's really cool. Please follow the posted directions. Post a direction. Oh man, that whole oh, That is a really big Kagane, and I just realized that's all eyeballs. That's a lot of Kakuhos. You can see one, two, three, four, f at least four eyeballs in uh, page 11. Now we're closed, obviously, but that's four eyeballs. Man. And that's just on the street. That's just on the streets. That's crazy. Okay, so they're evacuating people. Okay. Ple the police will direct you. I know him. I know him. Please remain in line as you, you move. Okay, don't worry, everyone. I will help. It's just sleeping. We ghouls are pretty cute. I know those two. I know those two. I, I've seen them. What? I've seen those two. I'm sorry. I, I'm just trying to figure out who these two are. On page 11, I, I've, I've seen these two. I don't know. I don't remember the names, but... Where did I see them from? Wait, is this from the... Is this from the light novels? I think it's Tokyo Ghoul Days, ain't it? Tokyo Ghoul Days. Yeah, I think it is. I could be wrong. Let me, let, just give me just a sec. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Just front cover. I'm trying to look here. Uh, back cover. Huh. Ikuma Momochi. Is that Ikuma? Is that... Yeah, he's wearing a beanie. 
Is that really a character from Days? So, who is this then? A police officer. I'm assuming he's a police officer since he has police behind him. I, I don't... Uh, I've seen him, I just can't remember his name. Tokyo Ghoul Police Officer. Police officer. Is there... Is it... He looks like a... I forget. I, 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 I know these two are from the light novels. I, I cannot remember their names, though. I mean, I just, you know, discovered Ikuma, but I know that one's from the light novel as well. Are these the... Is this the first time we've seen them in the series? Okay, I, I, I'll carry on, though. I, I don't know. Okay, we'll be uh, staying the night again. Oh, Uri. Okay, I'm going back to the countermeasures room for a little. You guys should rest up here. Aye, aye, sir. You take care of yourself too, Squadly. Aw, little psycho. She's like, oh, you just like, you don't know, wave and all that. That's nice. That's really nice. Okay, so next page. Oh, it's monster. Hmm. Uri, special class. It appears that even the ghouls are helping in the evacuation report or er, er, efforts. And I was gonna say reports, efforts. Don't make me laugh. After the appearance of a beast like that, nothing seems strange in comparison. I suppose you have a point. I heard something interesting from Marade about the underground king. I assume the info from those twenty fourth ward residents, huh? Yes. That is the one of the Washu's tat taboos. The thing true is true I did the one I go the Is my eyes deceiving me? That is one of the ta Washu's taboos. That one, that thing's true identity is the one I go of the. Wa is my eyes deceiving me? Am I seeing things right now? Okay, just FYI, page twelve, page twelve of this chapter. If you count the cover page of MS, page twelve, middle panel. When, when Matsuri is talking about the, the true identity of the one-eyed ghoul of the Washu. So the one-eyed king or one-eyed ghoul is from the Washu clan, okay. But the person that is showing, that's Uta. The hair is going over the eye. So you're telling me Uta is the one-eyed king? So he is still alive. So we have seen the one eye king since and all that information Yo Yo my mind just My mind just exploded. My mind just like boom just straight exploded. Uta is the one eyed king. Uta is the one eye What? 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 Oh, yo. Yo, I'm coughing. I'm sick. I'm coughing. Is that shocking? Oh. oh, man. Like, Uta is the one eyed king. Okay. 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 That explains so much about Uta. That, that explains so much. So much, in fact. You want to know why? Uta's overall mysterious strength, how this man seems just so powerful, and the ability to change his face, the ability to mimic people, create RC cell clones. Oh my goodness, this makes so much sense. Uta, Uta is the reason why he's able to do that. All this stuff with his face, be no face, is because. And no face, too, because he literally was God. He was able to create face. Oh, my God. That is why he's called no face. Why he had no face was because he could be anything. He he could he cr could create anything. Oh, that is... I mean, why his eyes were always, like, were always activated was because either he always just had an intense amount of RC cells or it's because he did tattoo his other eye. And that's a fear he'd been around for a long time. So, whoa, that is insane. Uta is the one-eyed king. 
We have had him in our face this entire time. Sheeta. That, that was... Wow, he's actually had that in our face for a long time now that I think about it. It, it, it was so obvious, but whoa. So the War Knight King joined the clowns. Huh. I'm going to assume that Donato knows about that. And so does Roma. Or some of the clowns probably do know. That would explain why they've mentioned why the one I King was first really mentioned by the clip. That would explain a lot. That would explain a lot. It makes me wonder if Uta created any of the clowns, since you know he could basically is like God. He could create anything. Makes me wonder. So we did get confirmation our C cells is stem cell. So, ha. Huh. Interesting. That, that's really interesting. I, I, I'll definitely need to probably make a separate video on that. Okay, it was of the Washu, but it hated us. So wait, so that, that also means that Uta was a Washu? So Uta Washu? Or is that even his name? It was of the Washu, but it hated us. It faced the old CCG head on. It was driven underground. I had heard that Ken Kaneki's Kagane was taken from someone from the Washu lineage. Perhaps that is why that thing has taken its chosen form. What? Whoa, 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 I heard that Kaneki's Kagane was taken from someone from the Washu lineage. Perhaps that is why that thing has to cho- Wait, is it, it being implied that the form that the- The big master, like, Kaiju Kagane- Or uh, Kagane that we have here with the Kaneki that's now Dragon? Is this being implied that has its own thoughts? That it chose its form? We know that the the shape of your Kagane and Kakuja is from the, the host, the main person, but the reason why that form happened in the first place is because it was from Uta? From a similar descent? Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. So it's basically being implied that it can think. And it wasn't Kaneki that chose it. Huh. So is Uta. If I, had to, if I were the one to retrace history, I would push this new above ground king down below. So push it completely underground. Huh. Okay. Next page, please. Oh, yeah. Special class, why are you helping us? That is a good interesting question, because he is a washu. Ghoul blood runs in my veins, too. Proud, terrible blood. And soon all will know. I think I should buy myself some favors in advance. <laughs> oh, well, he's always been the smart one, so it does make sense. Besides, I have a few people I need to thank. The people who actually killed my father. Is that V? Is V coming in to attack? Okay, that's definitely, yeah, that's definitely the light novel people right there, but. The hell is with these guys? They don't care whether you're ghoul or human. So V is attacking this. So what is V's objective? Well, okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Let me back up real quick, okay? What is V trying to accomplish here? So they're, they're attacking ghouls and humans. I, I know they don't want the bridge to be formed, obviously, but the washes are gone. The identity of the Kagane or the Kakuho and all that, the ghoul has been revealed, ghoul research will definitely progress, and you have ghouls and humans working together, but now they're attacking people openly, so what What are they doing? Why is V attacking? What are they wanting? Wait, so, the people who actually killed my father, so wait, so is it being implied here that Marte didn't kill Matsuri's father, but it was V? What? So what does V want then? If they're trying to stall what's going on here, then that would mean that they didn't like what Furuta's in-game goal was. So what's going on here? Why are they attacking? What 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 does V want? What is V trying to accomplish by attacking ghouls and humans now? 
Huh. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, my. Okay. Easier. What in the world? Wait, did they just, like, retreat? They were retreating. I don't understand. I don't, I, I don't understand V right now. What, what are they trying to accomplish? Oh, yeah. Asleep. Is he? Oh, we're moving over to token. Am I having my token heat ache? No. Yo, 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 yo. Am I going to have my token heat ache combo? Yo. I've been waiting for this for so long. Yo. Please, please, Zeta. Please give it to me. Okay. I'm getting. Yes. Okay. The, uh, the GSDF, the police, and the CCG, and the ghouls. Kind of crazy if you think about it. I wonder. Wait, am I gonna get to see? Am I gonna get to see Hida's face? Oh, please, please, please do that for me, Sheeta. Isn't that mask? Ho Yo, Toga asking him good questions. Huh? Want me to take it off? Ah, uh, come on, it's embarrassing. But you're right. It gets pretty steamy in here. Hmm. Well, whatever. Might as well. The breeze. Please, Sheeta, don't troll. Please, please give me the. Don't, let me see his face. Oh, he's blacking out. Don't do this to me. So then I remove my mask. Time to get beneath yours too, Toka. <laughs> oh, when did you start liking him? Oh, oh my. He's asking them. Whoa. Okay, come on. When I recklessly went up against those doves, did you give them too much bird seed? Oh, do oh okay. Yeah, yeah. He's talking about the... Wait, the does? He's talking about Mono and Amon? If you died, I'd be sad. That's what... Yo, I remember that. Oh, that's... Yo! I guess that was when. No way, that scamp managed to say something like that. Y Ashita, please, you keep darkening his face out. I feel like I was always getting saved by him. I hope I'll be able to save him this time. Well, give it our best... Really, Ashita? You, you're gonna black it out again. You, why? Why do you keep doing this? Why, why? I wanna see it. I wanna see it. I wanna see... I wanna see Ide's face, okay? I, I know the man's disfigured. I know he can't speak right, so I know his jaw is probably all messed up, okay? I pro he probably has, like, his jaw missing. He probably has his neck bent in, too. I, I know that, but I, I wanna see it, okay? This this is insane, and you can show stuff like that. Please, Ashita, do it. I mean, there's been a lot worse out there. Please, do that for me. <sighs> okay, uh... So, she fell in love with him when he says, if you died, I'd be sad. That is adorable. That's, that's, that's adorable, though. That, that's, mm. Yeah, so, we'll give it our best. So, what about the wedding? Seriously, come on. Tell me. Where was the honeymoon? Did he give you a ring? Um, well. Wait, ring? The ring, I, I gave it to him. The ring. It's somewhere inside that huge body. Next issue, are they going to use a metal detector to find, that would make a lot of sense. That would make a lot of sense. If they use a metal detector or whatever to detect it through the, uh, the Kagane, then they, they would actually detect Kaneki. So they would just need to go up to the eyeball, put the metal detector, if they don't sense anything, they could just remove that eyeball. That's smart. Who would have thought that the ring, instead of being a death flag, it would actually have been something to save Kaneki? Huh. Huh. That's very interesting. It's a very interesting plot point that she just set up. Oh, and the eyeball's opening up. Uh-oh. Okay, he's about to go on a rampage. But, uh, that's adorable. That's adorable. So, we got the Hide and Toka combo. That makes me happy, because I've been waiting for that for a long time. I think this basically does confirm, though, that Hide, Hide is not actually in love in love with Kaneki, though, from this conversation. He just really cares about Kaneki like a brother. That, that's why I can see her from this dialogue. I'm glad. I'm glad to, you know, just see, you know, this conversation happen. I really am. So, ah, <sighs> good man, Ashida. Good, good man, Ashida. So, will Ashida ever let us see, you know, Hide's face? The world may never know. But for now, though... We found out quite a bit from this chapter. Uta is the one-eyed king. Hide's face is really disfigured, or Ashida still wants to hide it. And Token Hide had a convo. We got the Kimi and Nishiki stuff. This is just a very sweet chapter. And knowing Ashida, something very bad is going to happen soon because of that. But I want to end it there. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I love you all so much. You have a wonderful day or night wherever you live. If you enjoy my content, please subscribe. And if you like this video, please leave a like. And if you don't like this video, well, you know, leave a dislike as well. So love you guys. Please be safe. Chibi out.